Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back. Finally, I know it has been forever. It's like it's actually been like I think it's been six days, seven days since I last had a video come out, and I'm sorry. But today, oh, today we're back, and we came back with a good game. We are checking out Tectonica for the first time. Um, I woke up to an email this morning giving us some early access content. If you guys are interested, I will have a link down below to the game. Um, it is early access. It's an alpha right now, not even beta alpha. So expect some bugs, expect some things. Also with the um, my new studio, there is some echo. So I do apologize if you can hear that, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into a new game. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So basically this is kind of like an underground factory building, exploring um, base building kind of game. And it just looks so good. Oh, I cannot wait. It, it, it honestly, it kind of, I'm going to say this now because I feel like it's going to be commented a lot. It kind of feels like a, um, like a Subnautica, um, like a factory Subnautica kind of game, but it's not underwater. So I don't know. Uh Oh, structural integrity failing. Okay. Exit this facility and report to production leave. See, like it's things like this that look super cool. Like it's like the 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 floor and stuff. It's all looking. Oh, it looks good. Okay, so let's see. Emergency supplies. We've got copper frame, electrical components, copper ingots, iron ingots. Um, do we just take all? Okay. Is there anything else around here? Oh, power floor. Some generators, things like that. Okay. Inspect, out of order. Okay, so we got some like we got some connections, things like that. Oh, crafting menu. Okay, uh, press tab to open crafting menu. I can't see what it says. Go away. <laughs> um, what is this? Crank a generator. We need five copper. Frame. Oh, okay, so we can make that. Uh, what about this? Okay, hydraulic failure detected. Okay, I think it wants me to make that. So let's go ahead. It is crafting that now. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. Uh, and to build. So do I want to place it? You know what? It did say that this floor was a power floor. So let's put it there. Time to add more crank generators. Crank generators. Inspect. Activate crank. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that, that doesn't even have a, uh, a model yet, which is okay. It's all right. It's all right. Um, okay, so we've got power. Oh, casualty detected. What is this? Groundbreaker, you are a sight for very sore eyes. Groundbreaker, you're sprite for sore eyes. On your voice or ID signal, but I'm going to assume you work for me. Work for me. We wouldn't get much done if we tried it the other way around. Uh, okay. Is this... Exit this facility. Is this the cube that's talking to me? Oh. oh. Okay. So here's the first look at a little bit of automation stuff. So it looks like we're gonna have some kind of like um, some kind of like uh like arms that put stuff in like uh, what are the what are the words? What's the, what's the thing that I'm looking for? A repeater? Not a repeater. I don't know. Okay. Continuing. Oh. Oh, and then there's like the longer ones that reach across two belts. Okay. So this is kind of reminiscent of um. Factorio. Okay, so sprint is shift. Hold on. I want to kind of look. I want to see what we got here. So there's red ones. It looks like red ones might be a little bit quicker. Oh, this is cool. This is super cool. Now, I did look through settings. Um, I don't have any... Uh, I don't really have any graphical options. Um, I have noticed just like a little bit of screen tearing for me. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. But um, I have noticed just a little bit of that for me, so... Oh, look at that. So those must be like some smelters or something. Okay. Oh, and there's the miners. Oh, interesting. Now, you know what? The, the, the first question I have is resources in this game finite or infinite? Um, that to me is going to use. Bravo Delta one. Oh. The amount of time oh. you spend on this job talking to doors, I swear. Oh, That's look at this mining. <laughs> okay. <gasps> We're out. I am exiting this facility. 
Your first priority is to inspect that production terminal and start building a factory. Okay. Until we hear otherwise, the job is the job. So it looks like terminal we've got. Oh, we have a scan. Build factories, and factories produce the goods required to upgrade the terminals. Okay, so we have to build Our factories, upgrade terminals. Better. Upgrading the terminal should also help us fix the radio on it. Maybe we can get a distress call out. Okay, so it looks like we have some scanning stuff here. This looks like some kind of basic ore, like that ore that was getting mined over there. Oh, this is cool. This looks so neat. All right, so this must be our, like, main... Oh, hello. Okay, hold on. I think it wants me to go over here. Please service. Repair required. Um, Missing resources. Resource required. 100 iron and 100 this copper. Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. Try digging out enough ore with your pickaxe to craft one. Okay, so mining drills. Drills going. You should be able to dump enough ore into this thing to see if self repair can do the rest. Okay, so mining drills requires two iron frames and fifteen mechanical components, or twelve iron and four copper raw materials. Okay, so that's cool. So actually, so these are the items we need. Okay, so this is another thing I'm actually curious about. So the least I can do is be optimistic. If I grab iron ore and copper, do I have to make the intermediates myself or will it automatically craft the required materials like if I need it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, because some games require you to actually craft everything yourself and some games will actually make the intermediates for you if you queue it up. Okay, so here's some copper. Okay, so let's see. I want to make... Oh, it said I could make two. Oh, and it's crafting intermediates. Oh, awesome. Okay, I love that. I love that already. I'm never a fan of the games that are like, oh, it's like, okay, you need so many frames and so many of these, but then it's like, you have to craft that many frames and craft that many of those and then craft the other things. So it's always kind of interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and craft another one here. And then we're going to have to figure out how to build... Imagine if I place it on. Oh, here we go. And then do I need to rotate you facing? So let's put one there. And then. Must be built at an ore vein and can be filled with plant matter. Okay, so we're starting off with basic plant matter kind of stuff. Okay, so now gather some plant matter here. Let's check this out. Okay, so we got some plant matter. Inspect um, plant matter into there. Are you getting copper? It's getting copper. Okay. All right, it's doing the things. Okay, so let's grab some more plant matter. Let's get the iron one going. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I love it. <laughs> All right, so more plant matter in this guy. That's going to give us iron. Okay, so we need 100 of each. Um, should I go ahead and make... Let's just make another one. Because I feel like we're going to need the resources anyways, right? Or we might even need another miner anyways. I wonder if there's like another resource type. Oh, I want to go explore... I kind of want to just go explore around and see what's what. I don't know if there's any enemies. Or, like, I don't know what's going on. You know what? I wonder. So, since we can dig... Okay, so we can't dig that. Oh, what's down right here? Oh, there's like a super secret bunker. Repair. Okay, you know what? I'm probably not supposed to be over here yet. Um, no, I'm curious because it says that there is, I mean, obviously we, we did a little bit of, um, terrain manipulation. I wonder how much terrain manipulation we can do here. If we can like, you know, do the terrain underneath or if it's only giving me like certain cave walls or things like that. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious. How's this looking? So that's at 17. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let's get, um, did I not make another one? I thought I made another one. Oh, it's crafting right now. 
Oh, do I have to stay in the crafting window for it to craft? It might have been a bug. <laughs> I was like, wait, where did the other one go? Okay, so I have another miner. Set that there, and then let's grab some plant matter. Now, logistics. Okay, so we don't have any logistics. We don't have anything else yet, so we, we kind of have to just focus on this right now. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up. Let it do its thing. We could probably go ahead and get another copper miner. You think another copper would fit in there? It probably would. Let's do it. Let's get another copper miner going, too. So I'm actually curious if our next thing we're going to unlock is maybe like some smelting because I have noticed since I got since I grabbed that ore, it's actually now smelting it. So it is taking um, quite a bit longer to, uh, to actually make the miners. Let's go explore this way. Let's see what we got. I wonder if there's like, I wonder if we're going to get like climbing tools and stuff. I guess I could gather all this plant matter, huh? I'm a little bit scared that there's going to be like, like stuff hiding in here, like going to attack us. Um, oh, we got another uh, another iron vein right here. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this like an elevator that goes down deeper? Oh, that definitely goes down. That's like a miner thing. Okay, all right, let's head back. I have a uh, I have a new miner now. We're gonna put that on the copper. Oh, I can't even put it over there. It's like in the way. Hmm. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, it's kind of like in the way right there because there's like spots on the outside. Okay, so I guess we're not doing anything with that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? I probably have... I have 97 copper already. Which means I should probably have about enough iron too. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've got the stuff. Let's go ahead and drop this in here. Let's see what we're going to unlock here. Um, there, there, repair terminal. Uh, missing resources, resources required, iron ingot and copper ingot. Okay, so now. This is going to require an automated facility. An automated facility, mining, mining drills and smelters, smelters connected by conveyor by belts, conveyor belts and, and inserters. Okay. Inserters have been unlocked in your tech tree automatically. <gasps> Yay! Um, okay, so conveyor belt, inserter, container, and then production. We have a crank generator, mining drill, base building. Did we not get a smelter yet? I've had the production terminal create an analyzer. Pick it up and see if you can find any remains. Find the remains of any smelters near. <gasps> oh. Scan Rex. Unlock tech. It's that simple. Okay, so we scan stuff. Oh, mechanical components. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You should have enough cores to activate that smelter tech once you restore it. Okay, so the smelter tech? Once I restore it, press T to open the tech tree. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a whole tech tree here. Okay, so smelter, it requires, well, basic logistics, I guess. Okay, so now that's unlocked. So now can we keep scanning? Now open up your crafting interface, build one, and place it. And that also gets those out of the way too, so we can place new stuff. Okay, so how does that... Do we have to just like find new things? I'm actually kind of curious, I don't know. Oh wait, it says right here, repair and upgrade production terminals to unlock tiers. Okay, so we probably have to uh, repair that guy before we can do anything else, before we unlock the next tier, which would then go out and scan and prob probably unlock those. Okay, so we need to uh, base building, production. All right, smelting, copper components, metal components, smelts ores into ingots. All right, we'll get one of those going and then 
we'll get those going we'll get some of those going and we'll get some of those going okay i'm gonna let that stuff build and then we'll see what we can do with it here now i want to place is there a way to like mine out like a clean an area hmm not really okay so here's our little smelter guy so it looks like it looks like the uh, the resources in and out can be either way okay so let's put one invalid placement okay I don't like that rock there but that's fine let's put one there Now, well, that takes stuff out. No, okay, so I put those there. So we'll do that and then I need to like destroy this. Alright, so there's that. So let's see. Um, let's grab this, put that there. And then we can grab another inserter. Oh. I might need to go there. How's that? Hey, okay, there we go. Okay, so let me go ahead, let me hit F. Let's get rid of these. And then let's grab those. And then let's go ahead and get another belt made here. Oh, um, I need some more iron and stuff. Okay, so I got some more belts coming in. Uh, so we're gonna get these all hooked up and then we're gonna, let's see, we need to put some plant matter in here. Let that do its thing. We got a belt, we can go ahead and put that there. Grab our inserter. There, okay. Oh, yeah, it's going super easy now. Um, I don't think this one machine can keep up with, let's actually inspect here. Maybe I should get another inserter going? Let's see, if I do, let's see, if I do this. Oh. What if I do that and do this? And then we get another inserter maybe right here. Okay, so that's grabbing both of them. Is that giving an inventory? Okay, cool. So there is an inventory here. Good. So then we need to have inserters going into... Holy gigantic storage box. Wow, that's a big... That's a big storage box right there. Um, so we need to have an inserter. We probably have to have a belt. To be honest. Let's put that there. And then let's go ahead and craft um, another inserter. Oh, that's coming four. Nice. So then what we'll do is we'll just go like this. Inserter from there, there, and there. Okay. So that should put, yeah, it'll put all those in there. Okay, now inspect in here. Holy gigantic storage unit. Okay, so that's awesome. All right, so let's get another smelter for our copper and bring that I mean I could bring it in the same storage unit but I don't really feel like that's necessary uh let's just place it down over here all right so let's do the same thing over here um I can already tell you right over here <laughs> we probably should only have one smelter to one miner so I think what I'm probably gonna end up doing is probably breaking this off, throwing another smelter here, running this belt into this guy, and then probably wrapping this around so we can have multiple um, multiple little inserters going into here. So let's get this guy set up over here first, and then we'll come back and mess with that. 
So let's see. Here's our smelter. So we could probably just go ahead and run that right there. Let's go ahead and run our storage unit. Need to make sure we have room for everything here. Run it right there. So we're going to need inserter going there and there. We're going to need one going out there. And one going out there. Okay, so now... Let's do that. And like that. So that's going to give us the copper. And then we're going to have to go... Let's go this way. We need to go out two. That way. And then this way. And then another inserter right there. Okay, so that should work. Let's go ahead and throw some fuel into that guy. Hey, there we go. Okay, cool. That looks good. Now, like I said, we need to expand this out too. I'd like to expand the copper out, but I don't... I can't get another copper machine in here. Which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean, I, it is what it is, I guess. Oh, shoot. This isn't connected. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's get another smelter over here. Production smelter. And then let's actually go ahead and work on getting these belts. Let's see, we want a line of belts here. And then I want, oh, I need more inserters. You go through inserters pretty fast, holy moly. All right, let's get our, our second smelter lined up here. We're gonna bring it back one though, because we have this rock right here. Actually, we could just go to right here like that <laughs> and then just grab from right there yeah actually you know i'm gonna put another one here too so basically that one should never get bound up with that and then let's see um we're gonna need that there let's go ahead and then attach these to here insufficient resources because i'm out of belts there okay so those are all connected up uh, oh inserter that's right i was like man well, this one's not going any faster than it was can we get more belts through here curious how this would work oh it just deletes it out of the way oh my gosh okay all right, there's another five belts. So we'll go to right here. Grab ourselves another inserter. But we're utilizing all of these connection ports here. Now, I probably should leave this one alone in case we need to export the... Um... Oh, hold on. We did this wrong. Can't even tell which way it's going. There we go. Okay. So hopefully that'll be able to keep up with those. And then we need to actually fuel this guy up. Okay. I think I think things are going along nicely. Let's go see what we got going on up here. I don't think we... Have, oh. What's in here? We got some, some storage. Oh, we have a scan thing. Scanned one of three of the mole fragments. This is a power floor. These must be batteries. So I wonder if we can scan more stuff. Maybe we should go out and scan more stuff. I'm probably going to need to um, go ahead and get more, more regular stuff, more um, plant matter anyways. Oh, you can actually mess with the terrain here. 
Wait a second. I, you know, for some reason, I thought that we couldn't mess with the train. You absolutely can. Which makes me think that maybe we should get another copper smelter going here. Um, because that would be super nice. Wait, where's... Right here. Oh, you know how long it's going to take to clear all this out, though? So if I wanted to get this going, I would basically need to clear this whole chunk out right here. That's going to take a while. Maybe there's an upgrade. <laughs> Maybe there's an upgrade. Actually, I want to see if these guys um, Are these guys going into the resource at all or are they just kind of chilling here? Oh, it looks like it might be an infinite resource thing. So that would be cool. I Am um, I'm, I'm down with the infinite resource style kind of stuff Okay, so we need 300 iron and 300 copper We're at one two almost 300 iron copper we're probably only at like a hundred though because we got that going later and it's slow and we only have one machine. Okay. Interesting. Is there anything else over here? Oh, there's a whole copper node right here. Let's scan this thing. Oh, there's a bunch of copper right here. Okay. I feel like we need to bring that out. Actually, now I'm curious. Can I like? No, I can't get rid of that. Oh, this is soft dirt right here. Oh. There's a secret room back here. What's this? Uh, scanned one of four light fragments. Oh. Oh. Two of four light fragments. Okay. Neato. Oh. It's in here. More light fragments? Heck yeah. It's this way. Oh, this is the uh this goes to the underground thingy. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our 300 iron that we need. So one, two, three. Let's grab those, we'll throw those in here. And then we're just gonna be waiting on copper. So there's 300, we just need 300 copper. And then we can get whatever's next. Um, I'm curious about these power floors. I'd like to be able to make those and start making some like generators or something. So we don't have to like, you know, fuel everything individually. That's what it is, it's a power floor. And these we probably have to lay out and if like a machine is on it, it probably will get power from a power source. I would gather that's probably what it is for. All right, we've got our copper. Let's grab these. Let's take them over to this machine and let's see what our next upgrade is. Come on, power floors. All right, upgrade terminal. Maximum upgrade level. Okay. This PT as much as we can. The radio works now, the but only for incoming transmissions. But only for incoming transmissions. And the signal it gives. The signal that gives you probably won't be one we can get to with a pickaxe. Oh. A mole terrain manipulator should oh. be able to get through, but we still need to find enough fragments of one to unlock the tech. Okay, so now we need to find the mole. You want to look around for some echo sketch fragments too. Never hurts to see where you're going. Okay, so we need to go out and scan some stuff. All right, so let's grab this. Uh, let's head back this way because we, I don't think we had the scanner when we went this way before. And I think there was some things over here. Uh, should stop. we stop? Some of these passages have caved in. Try hacking, Try hacking your way, way through, through the walls. walls that look like they don't belong there. Oh, like this one. Okay, let's scan that. Okay, so now we have a light stick. Oh, okay. So there's there's multiple cave-in spots that we can go out and scan. All right, so let's see. Oh. If everything else is right where we left it, my why can't my well be too. If you were part of my crew, you'd probably recognize this place. Oh, so this is like their camp. Portable habitat module into the field. That wasn't for us. 
rip an assembler to make this thing instead. Whatever the smelters needed for the expedition, we found. People leave you alone when you get results. <laughs> People Those leave you alone when you get results. At some point, something else started to matter. It's hazy. I know we were supposed to go home. Okay, so it sounds like the... So I have this cube. And it sounds like this cube is the person that's talking to me. It's almost like they like their consciousness was in it or something. I have no idea. Um, oh, this is a cave-in. I think this is a cave-in. Yeah, it is. This is taking us back somewhere, though. We've already been to. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the uh, the drill thing. Okay. Um, hold on. Let's go ahead and scan these. Okay. So I'm looking for these mole fragments. Oh, here we go. This is a mole. Two of three. So they're actually kind of like smaller things on the ground. Let's see. I feel like there probably should have been one back in here, maybe, with the... Where the people were? Did I miss a mole over here? I don't see one. All right, let's go look the other way because we kind of already went this way. This way goes to the um, that like underground shaft thing. Let's go back over by the copper. Okay, so this way. I bet you there's a cave in somewhere here that we can get through. Well, maybe not. All right, let's go down in here. Let's look at this thing. <gasps> System online. Oh, wow. We got the mole. Okay, what is this? Don't forget, you'll need to activate it in your tech tree before attempting to build it. Okay, cool. What is this? Echo sketch. Xeno material containers. What's this? This is one of our control modules. At least it was. Access terminal. Whatever it was controlling is long gone. Not much point to it now. Everything we had was built from pieces of the tunneler we came down in. The Excalibur. By the time it got this deep, all the, all the best, best stuff, was, stuff gone. was gone. We made things work anyway. If my crew left us here, they were headed somewhere they didn't need it. Okay. What's this? Identify. Lima sector manufacturing orders. All vials corrupted. Oh. You know, it's kind of cool that there's like a story along with with this, you know? Like there's actually like some kind of like story kind of thing going on. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's a cool little area. I like that. All right. So we now have the mole. And I think we actually have the echo sketch as well, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let's go ahead and pull up our... Um, okay, so... Memory. Oh, we got to scan memory cores. Those are up, up top. Um, okay, hold on. Where is... Echo sketch. Hold to activate. Lights. Analyzer. Beacon. Wait, where's the, um, where's the mole? Oh, there's different, there's different tabs. Uh, that requires, what is that? 16? Oh my gosh, 16. Oh, three available, 16 total cores. So that requires 16 cores. That requires 10 mole flattener, mole terrafer, terraforming speed. So does this... Okay, so I can't do any more. 
So we if we be able to make our way to another production terminal until we build a mole, please make it a priority. Okay, I will. Please make it a priority. Can I scan these things up here? No. Okay. So we need to make the mole now. So equipment mole. Uh, echo sketch. Okay, so we're making both of those. For an echo sketch. You've got no reason not to build one. Go for it. All right, we're building both of them. So the mole's gonna allow us to dig. It's gonna it's gonna be a better digging tool. And then the echo sketch is going to be, um, I guess it's like a 3D mapping kind of thing. So we can kind of see like where, where we are and what's going on. And this guy's fully upgraded, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So we've got terraformation, synthesis, smelter, assembler, scan zero one, planter, thresher. Oh, we can do some plants? Logistics, a tool belt increases the number of tool belt rows. Fast inserter. Oh, uh, oh, there's our echo sketch. Whoa. Uh. Okay, hold on. What does this do? What? That is awesome. Uh, that is amazing. Okay. So it clears out like a cube area, but it looks like it doesn't hit resources. Like it, it looks like it's leaving the, um, the copper alone. It is leaving the copper alone. Okay, cool. Build and place five light sticks in any locations. Oh, okay. I guess we could do that. Um, oh, composed of ultra conductive materials requires electrification to be used as a power source for machinery. We don't have, a, we don't have a generator, do we? Oh, we have the hand cr crank generator converts kinetic energy into usable power through hand crank and other sources of energy. Production power, 64 kilo. Wait, did we always have, we did not always have these. Okay. Um, this is really cool. That kinetic thing or like this, this mining tool. Like I've got to give it to them. Good for them for figuring out something different than just a laser beam. Like it's creating like a mini black hole that sucks up everything in the, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay. Um, Oh, light sticks. Okay, hold on. So logistics, transportation, suit speed, hover pack. What? Energy, accumulated capacitor, two accumulator, crank generator, connectors, science. Oh, lights. Repair and upgrade production terminals. Oh, I can't do this because I'm missing cores. Discover more production terminals to un unlock additional cores. Okay. Now, do I have like a, okay. So if I pull up the echo sketch. Oh, zoom out, zoom in, rotate view. Oh, it's showing the whole three dimensional layout of everything else. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's like a huge thing going off that way. Oh, that is too cool. Okay. So let's go check that out. Let's get this guy out. Okay, so we want to go this way, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Let's go ahead and bust this out. And then it looks like, looks like right here. I never got the chance to thank you for getting me out of there. I appreciate it. So oh my gosh. Like the best thing to do was focus on work and not get caught up in thinking about anything else. We busted through. I've tried to stay sharp for both of us, but now that we're almost back to the main line, I'll admit it, I'm terrified. It'll be good to see some friendly faces and a few thousand twinkling lights. Oh, I'm this so is super cool. There, too. Okay, so what? 
What is this whole area? Is this like the main area? Oh, what? Oh my gosh, look at this cave. It's amazing. <gasps> There's like a watery substance in here. <laughs> watery substance. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um, oh, a planter? Try growing your own. Oh, so we're going to be growing our own stuff for fuel. Separating seeds and plant matter from those Separating can seeds and plant. Can be a real grind. Try a thresher. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. What do we have here? Assembler? Assemblers must be built on an electrified power floor to function. Okay, so assemblers have to be built on an electrified power floor to function. Okay, so what do we need here? Um, so we need what 70 mining drills, 70 smelters, 2000 conveyor belts, a thousand inserters and a thousand processor unit. Wow. Through fragment scanning and production. Oh. Oh. You can't continue to activate new things on the tech tree without more memory cores. Try, Try placing one you are holding like you would place a machine and it'll get added to your total. Memory core. New cores enable the activation of additional technologies in the tech tree. Okay, so can I pick it up? Okay, so now it said we are in a we're in the Tectonica free play area. So basically, we can now just kind of do what we want with what we got here. Now, are there any are there any like resource nodes here or do we need to like bring over our own so Oh my gosh, this is a huge area. This is so cool. I am so excited to uh to definitely keep checking this out. So that is actually going to end the first episode filter inserter oh my gosh uh that's gonna end our first episode hopefully you guys enjoyed this is technonica this is the first look this is an alpha again an alpha um not even a beta so bugs things like that like little things here and there it's you know it, it, they'll get sorted but oh my gosh this is super cool we will absolutely be back doing some more stuff because i want to see what we got going on here um and then we have this whole free play area so it said something about the cores that i can like replace them and place them or something like that so i don't know we'll have to see um we'll have to see what else we can do oh this is just super cool this is just super cool so that is gonna end it thank you all so much for coming out again link down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself and i'll see you in the next one bye everybody